What is going on guys, my name is James, or thanks Sia, and welcome to another Minecraft mod installation tutorial. So today we are taking a look at how to install the Legend of Notch mod. And as you can see from the background, we are going to be installing this on a Mac. However, wherever possible, I will try and advise you PC guys as best I can. So this is what the actual mod page looks like, and what we need to do in order to get the files is to scroll down to the download section. So if we go past all of these pictures, because there is plenty of information about the mod, we will eventually get down to the downloads. Now, the great thing about this mod is that everything you need can be downloaded from this one link. So when you're ready, click on download here. This is currently for Minecraft 1.2.5, and when you've downloaded the zip, put it on your desktop. So. I should say before I sort of show you how to install this that when you open this it will contain two files because this mod as well as having the actual mod files does need Minecraft Forge in order to make it work. So very important that we install Minecraft Forge first and then after that we install the files for the mod. So just before I do that, very important, please A, it's probably best if you install this on a fresh Minecraft client and B, if you do so, please back up your old Minecraft client or your Minecraft worlds before attempting because if something goes wrong, then there is a chance that you might lose your world. So please back it up or just take your current Minecraft folder and put it somewhere safe. So, okay, what we're going to do to find our Minecraft folder is we're going to go into applications, open in finder, you're going to go to your name, you're going to go to your library, application support, and then at the bottom, there will be your Minecraft folder. Alternatively, if you're on a PC, your Minecraft folder is found in your app data slash roaming, and in there will be your Minecraft. So we're going to go into this, and then we're going to go into the bin, and we're going to navigate to the Minecraft.jar. When we find this, we are going to click on it, and then right click, and then go to open with. Now, I'm going to use a program called Springy, and this is just an archive tool. It is a brilliant one, and for someone who uses mods a lot, it is pretty much essential however if you don't have it you can also use archive utility or if you don't have that you can rename the minecraft.jar minecraft.zip also if you're on a pc you can use winrar so we're going to click this to open up our minecraft.jar and the first thing we're going to go and do is install minecraft forge so we're going to go into our download folder click on the forge folder and all we're going to do is just drag every single file in that folder and add it to our minecraft.jar so it's going to ask us if we want to overwrite, click on apply to all and then yes. And then that's it for the Minecraft .forge, sorry, the Minecraft Forge. So we're going to get rid of that. Now the next part is slightly more complicated than usual. However, it's not too complicated because what we're going to do is manually insert a couple of folders in. So we're going to go back into our download folder and then go into the actual sort of mod folder. And this is called Tlon Beta 1.2.3. So we're going to click on this and then we're going to find two folders in here which we're going to man manually add to our minecraft.jar. First of which is the armor folder. So what we're going to do is double click on armor and then we're going to find the armor folder in our minecraft.jar. So it should be somewhere fairly low in the A's. There it is. So we're going to click on that to open it up and then we're going to drag all of the folders from the armor folder and then stick them into our minecraft.jar armor folder. So there we go. Now we're going to go back into our download folder and we're actually going to remove the armor folder from it in total. So we're going to do exactly the same thing with the GUI folder. So we're going to click on that and open it up. And then we're going to find the GUI in the minecraft.jar. Um, there it is. And we're going to open that up. And then once again, we're just going to extract all of the files from one, put them into the other, click on add. I'm going to click on replace. Yes. And then we're going to go back one screen and we're going to delete the GUI from our download folder. So that is kind of it for the complicated bit. Now is the easy bit. We just simply get all of the files left in this folder and we're just going to drag them into the minecraft.jar like we usually do. So we're going to click on add, apply to all, and then yes. So finally, before we exit this, we are going to go and locate the meta inf folder, which is, oops, there it is. And we're going to delete this, which is very, very important, or the mod will not work. So delete the meta slash inf folder. Okay, so that is it. We are going to go and run it now. So this is the strange bit, because you will notice that if you've done everything right, it will load up like normal, and there will be a minecraft.forge thing in the bottom corner. However, the first time that you go into it and then go into any old game type, it will not load up. So this will look like it has crashed and it actually has crashed, but there is a very, very easy fix for this, believe it or not, because all you need to do is simply exit and then reload it again, 
like that. And I've done absolutely nothing here just apart from reload it again. So we're going to make that bigger. It will load up much the same. You can go into your single player again. You can go into your creative, create new world, and then it will generate. So I'm not too sure why that bug occurs, but it's an easy fix. Just simply relog your Minecraft. And then you will notice that it will pop up with all of your class selection screens. So uh, there we go. This is kind of how you know the mod has worked. I'm just going to click on that and we're going to go into our menu. And you'll notice that we have all of the new weapons and stuff. So yeah, the mod has worked and it is ready to be played. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this is useful and I hope that if you play this mod, you have a great time on it. So as always, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thanks and see ya.